a bunch of leftists on social media, as well as a couple loser MPs from the NDP and the Liberals, are trying to make a lot of commotion out of the situation where U.S. news commentator Alex Jones endorsed Conservative Party leader Pierre Polyev as if we're all supposed to sort of freak out, run out into the streets, rend our clothes, and set our hair on fire because a man that a lot of people don't like endorsed a man that a lot of people in Canada do like as if there's some sort of transitory property where we're all supposed to stop liking Pierre Polyev because Alex Jones likes him. If this is your line of attack on Pierre Polyev, that Alex Jones likes him, ergo, we shouldn't like Pierre Polyev, that is ridiculous and not a single person in Canadian politics actually bases their vote on things like that. And it's really hypocritical when you think of the sorts of people who have endorsed the liberal government as well as the NDP in the past. They don't mind all these people endorsing them. Don't look too far into their background. Just look deeply into the background of everyone who happens to like Pierre Polyev. And I don't even like Alex Jones. I think he's wacky. I think he says a lot of things that are inaccurate and doesn't care because he's a bit of an attention seeker. But overall, I don't really care that he endorsed Pierre Polyev. If anything, well, it's just a logical decision that Alex Jones makes to like Pierre Polyev instead of Justin Trudeau. You see, people who are not 100% great are allowed to endorse people who are good, and it doesn't make that person bad. But here are a couple of the tweets from these uh, MPs. We have first Joanne Thompson, who tweeted, If Alex Jones endorsed my hairstyle, I'd get a haircut. Well, that sounds pretty histrionic to me, Joanne. And then she goes on to say, He's a cruel, dangerous man, but Pierre has no problem with it and continues to attract these kinds of extremists. Moral decency is the minimum quality of a leader, and Pierre has none. What does she think Pierre Polyev is supposed to do with this situation? Drive down furiously to the U.S. and beat Alex Jones to death with a cricket bat in his parking lot? I, I, I am sort of at a loss for words what you do with an endorsement you don't like. Yes, I like if Hitler endorsed you, you'd be like, I don't want him to endorse me. I don't know why he's endorsing me, but for some reason he is. And, you know, that's not really that far out of left field of a situation because, as I'll get to it, the liberals have basically been endorsed by Nazis in the past and they've never disowned those endorsements. And the next loser MP we have here is Charlie Angus from the NDP. Joanne Thompson was from the liberals, uh, to, to be clear. And Charlie Angus says, Alex Jones is the man who taunted and harassed families of 20 murdered children at Sandy Hook, loves Pierre Polyev. He says Pierre Polyev is the real deal. The real deal? Think about that. Well, Charlie, did you ever get mad when Hamas endorsed the Canadian government in which your party is a coalition partner in? Hamas, a terrorist organization who on October 7th murdered 1,200 Jewish people and other foreign workers in Israel, they endorsed you guys because you were voting in favor of pro-Hamas uh, motions in the UN. You guys are complete nutcases on policy. The funny thing is that Pierre Polyev didn't do anything to get Alex Jones to endorse him. He's a typical conservative politician pushing for smaller government against liberal corruption and wants to expand freedom in Canada from all the restrictions that the liberals have been putting on it recently, especially on things like censorship policy and trying to restrict the sorts of fuels and resources Canadians are allowed to access. But you guys quite literally voted in favor of a motion that was to preserve Hamas from being destroyed by the IDF. And then Hamas came out and thanked you guys. And you never actually had someone come out and say, we condemn Hamas. They're evil. They can take their endorsement back. We think their scum and should be eliminated. They can't even say that because they don't want them eliminated because they voted for a ceasefire to stop like the IDF from fighting what our modern day Nazis is. Islamist Nazis, people who want to wipe out every Jew in Israel, those are people they voted to protect and then could not even return the endorsement they hand them off. Here's what the endorsement sounded like. ...by Canada, Australia, and New Zealand backing sustainable ceasefire in Gaza. We welcome these developments and consider them in the right direction toward isolation, the fascist, fascist Israeli government globally, and ending the longer ever occupation in our modern time. Finally, we call... That scumbag has killed as many people as a lot of Nazi generals would have. He is responsible for tens of thousands of deaths, if not more, and that's counting both on Israel's side of the border as well as Gaza and the West Bank, because make no mistake about it, 
Hamas kills a lot of Arab people in Gaza. A lot of Palestinians die at the hands of Hamas, either directly or through them being used as human shields. And they're currently starving their own people to death so that they can keep feeding their fighters so they can keep trying to kill more Jews. And these are people, the liberals, were totally fine voting in favor of trying to protect. And you could say, well, they're just trying to vote in favor of peace. No, they're not. No, they're not. If it's World War II and it's 1944 and, you know, the Allied armies are about to move into the Netherlands and Germany and all the rest of the Axis-owned territories and the Russians are coming from the east, although they're communists and should have probably been smashed after World War II as well. But if you were voting in some sort of body, international body, or your like local Congress in the United States or Parliament in Canada saying, maybe we should have a ceasefire with the Nazis. We should leave the Nazis in place because civilians could die if we try and enter Berlin. Well, yeah, you could say, well, I'm just doing this for peace. Well, either you're a fool or you're more likely just in favor of what the Nazis are doing and don't want it to end. The NDP and the liberals with that NDP motion they all voted in favor of did prove that they're actually pretty okay with what Hamas is doing since they voted to give Hamas their own state to rule. They said it's time. I think they're responsible, reasonable adults. They only have to try and bloodlet out a bunch of Jewish people every once in a while. Give them a state. It's totally fine. And also, let's condemn Israel for protecting itself. You guys are these scumbags. Yes, Polyev got an endorsement from Alex Jones. Yes, Alex Jones has done very stupid, if not gross, in my opinion, things in the past, including what he said about Sandy Hook. Also, that pales in comparison with Hamas's endorsement that was based on a direct thing that the liberals did to help Hamas. Hamas is also being funded by the, the liberal government and the NDP because they've been pushing for UNRWA funding. And when Trudeau had the momentary good sense to end the UNRWA funding, the liberals and the NDP pushed to restore it. And then Trudeau caved to those radical people because in reality, he's the one who's ruled by an radical base not Pierre Polyev, not the Conservatives, not the Conservatives in any province in Canada. It's only the Liberals and the other left-wing parties. Anyways, that should be it for me today, guys. I just quickly want to plug the fact that I have a legal fund going uh, for myself in the National Telegraph. We're being sued by a ridiculous billionaire developer for defamation that he cannot prove, and it's been over two years of him not actually showing any evidence that we've defamed him. Our entire article we wrote up about him, it wasn't even about him, we just mentioned him in the article. Every part of the article we mentioned him on was just linking to a Globe and Mail article that was like 2,000 word investigation of him. And somehow he can sue us because we said things that other people at much larger publications had said a year and a half ago. So if you want to donate anything to that legal fund, it really helps me out. I've paid over $26,000 defending myself so if you can contribute contribute anything, it really reduces the burden on me. And then also I, Wyatt Clay, who I'm running for the Calgary Signal Hill Conservative Party nomination. So if you live in this riding on the west side of Calgary, buy a membership and visit my website in the description below. It's a wyattclaypool.com. And that's where also the Give, Send, Go link for the fundraiser is. Have a good one, everyone. I'll be back with another video.